Now, do you consistently wake up in the morning feeling lethargic? Then you may be suffering from sleep apnea. This is a condition in which breathing repeatedly stops and starts. If you snore loudly and feel tired even after a full night's sleep, you might be suffering from sleep apnea. In today's Living Health the report, Dr. Lawson Myers explores the whole issue of sleep apnea. Hi, I'm HD. Welcome to another episode of HD's Jazz. Today I'm in the lovely Hope Gardens and I'm seated at one of the many benches that you'll see scattered throughout the garden. And we are going to be talking about today, a new lease on life. Today we're going to be making breakfast and preparing a lunch box for school. Let's start with some sugar and salt and wash it down with a nice big glass of more sugar. And now for the lunch box. Let's put in saturated fat, more salt and sugar. Foods high in salt, fats and sugar increase the risk of hypertension, obesity, heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Now more than ever, we have the right to know what's in our food. Give us warning labels on the front of our food packages. Hi, Maisha. Hi, Doc. Listen, I am so glad that you are willing to come and share with me here at this Hope Guard. Did I say Hope Gardens? It's actually the Royal Hope Botanical Garden. Oh, Royal. I didn't know that was a part of the name. Neither did I until just the other day. Mm. So, girl, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I don't feel so tired as I did before. Mm -hmm. I feel energized, like I can just manage right throughout the day. Very I feel good. good. Very, very good. I'm so glad you took me up on my suggestion for you to get checked out. I'm glad I did too. You know, I remember the day when I came to your office and you were checking me and you asked me, do you have sleep issues, Maisha? And I was wondering, why would a dentist be asking me that? And you said, you need to see a sleep therapist. Not sleep therapist, child, don't call him so. He's a specialist in airway, the pulmonologist. Oh, I see, <laughs> <laughs> I see. So then I went to actually see him and he diagnosed me with mild sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. um, he suggested that I got a machine, a CPAP machine. You know that yes. machine, Doc? Yes, right. yes, yes. So now I'm able to breathe. I can sleep longer. No longer do I sleep for three hours and I just jump up out of my sleep, no. I sleep for probably six, seven hours. And when I'm awake, I feel alive. I feel refreshed. Rested, refreshed, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me tell you something. So many people have airway issues at night and they have no idea. You see them falling asleep at the stoplight, or you may see them um, dozing off when they're on long journeys, or just during the day, you know? They sit down for a minute, they think they're watching TV, and TV starts watching them. Mm -hmm. But what a difference it makes when you're yes, breathing properly. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you were able to tell me, and I'm so glad that I followed up with your advice. I remember that quizzical look you gave me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that day too. <laughs> but you know, although I can't diagnose as a dentist, there are some telltale signs in the mouth that can prompt me to suggest further investigation. So that's what we did. Okay, could you please tell me though, what did you see on that day that would have prompted you that I may have sleep issues? Well, one of the signs is evidence of acid erosion. Oh. I saw that there was evidence of grinding of your teeth. Um, there's a little irritation on the roof of your mouth that suggests that anything in there, any air coming in might not flow freely. So you might have been snoring or having some issues with the air passing through at night. And when I looked back there, Maisha, quite frankly, I didn't see much airway space at all. Oh. Now, any one of those things by themselves doesn't mean much, but when you join the dots, in addition to the fact that you told me that you 
had morning fatigue and daytime sleepiness, all of them added up so that I felt it necessary to check it out and see. And oh. what a good thing. Yes, yes, I must really thank you though, Doc. Listen, <laughs> every so often I chuckle when I remember that story you told me Which about your that? machine. Oh, oh <laughs> Remember Lord. when they broke into your house? Yes, they <laughs> broke into my house in July, I think it was. And when the neighbor called to say, Maisha, they broke into your house, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I no longer have the sleeping machine. I was so relieved back <laughs> when I went into the house and I realized my sleeping machine was there. I was like, oh my God, thank you God, it is still here. Because that machine is quite expensive. Yes, and it has changed your life forever. Yes, yes. It has given you a new lease on that life. Is that is true. <laughs> I feel rested, no longer tired, and can't make it through the day. I'm, you know, I'm pretty good now. I can make it through the day now. Well, I'm glad you came to see me, and I'm glad we were able to talk. Uh, so I guess you're on to work now. Yes, yes. All okay, right. Thank you have so a good much, one. Dad. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I am so glad that Maisha's quality of life improved so tremendously. Now, as a dentist, I certainly cannot diagnose airway issues, but I certainly can point you in the right direction. Listen, catch me next time. Facebook, YouTube, and our LFD website. See you next time on HD's Jazz. Today we're going to be making breakfast and preparing a lunch box for school. Let's start with some sugar and salt. And wash it down with a nice big glass of more sugar. And now for the lunch box. Let's put in saturated fat, more salt, and sugar. Foods high in salt, fats, and sugar increase the risk of hypertension, obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Now more than ever, we have the right to know what's in our food. Give us warning labels on the front of our food packages. 